recognition from your peers, for me, is the ultimate compliment, really. Being a young chef, I feel like these events are really important um, to communicate with some of the more experienced chefs. So this year, I understand there's been plenty of uh, pastry interest. Um, reasons being, obviously, there's been the Great British Bake Off uh, creme de la creme. There's more influence coming through industry, through the World Chocolate Masters and the UK Sugar Championships, and obviously how well the UK pastry team has been doing. Sometimes it can be incredibly difficult to make a decision on the judging process. It depends, really, who, how strong the nominees are. Sometimes the nominations are incredibly strong, and there's some really healthy debate as to who we feel will be the worthy winner. To be nominated as one of the three in each category, to be nominated by your peers and the people in the industry is a great feeling. It's a great feeling of success and an achievement. It was a wonderful evening to celebrate the achievements of uh, many, many uh, great chefs who work terribly hard in the industry and it's just good to see that all these people are being recognised this evening. Craft Guild Awards are important for so many reasons. First of all, a chance for the employees to be recognised by their employers, us for the Craft Guild members to look at up and coming talent for the future. We've got to keep this going. Good luck to everybody tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our first award winner of the evening for this extra special award. Winner and friends of the Craft Guild of Chefs, Mr. Phil Hooper. And the winner of the Apprentice Chef of the Year Award, sponsored by Compass Group UK and Ireland, goes to Tom Hamlet at the South Lodge Hotel. Great pleasure to announce the winner of the Armed Services Chef Award, sponsored by Purple Food Service Solutions, is Corporal Ian Mark, Royal Air Force. The winner of the Banquet and Event Chef Award, sponsored by Pity UK, is Karen Pointer. I'm delighted to announce the winner of the Chef Lecturer Award sponsored by Hotel Olympia and also International Salmon Culinaire. It's a very good friend of all our competitions. It's Matthew Shropshire from UCB. the competition champ award sponsored by Nessie Professional in Simon Webb. And the winner of the Contract Catering Chef Award sponsored by Kerry is Glyn Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately Glyn can't be with us this evening, so his colleague Darren Thompson will collect the award on his behalf. It is with great pleasure, sponsored by Essential Cuisine, I can announce the winner of the Development Chef Award is Glenn Evans of La Iguanas. So the winner of the Ethnic Chef Award, sponsored by Nayati, is Tong Chi Hu. Winner of the Innovation Award, sponsored by Major International, uh, producers of fine stocks and marinades, is. <laughs> Where's the booze coming? The Clink Charity. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the new Restaurant of the Year Award 
is Vini Bertia. Vini Bertia, London. The winner of Pastry Chef Award, sponsored by Capigiani UK, is Emmanuel Bonnie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Pub Restaurant Chef Award, sponsored by Bid Food tonight, from Basingstoke, is Gordon Stott of the Sun Inn! And the winner of the Public Sector Chef Award, on behalf of Premier Foods, is Jamie Gibbs. <laughs> The winner of the Restaurant Chef Award, sponsored by Hojizaki UK, is Daniel Smith of the Ingham Swan. Unfortunately, Daniel is unable to join us tonight, so his colleague Greg will collect the award on his behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, pleased to announce the winner of the Young Chef of the Year Award sponsored by British Premium Meats is Ben Garnet Sinclair from Luso. I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the People's Choice Award, as sponsored by Nisbets, is Harry Lomez. Now we come to the most prestigious accolade of the evening, the Craft Guild of Chefs Special Award, sponsored by Sodexo. The special award is reserved for somebody who has made or is making significant impact on this industry. And past winners include Raymond Blanc, Phil Howard, Heston Blumenthal, and last year's winners, the Galvin Brothers. So on behalf of award sponsor Sodexo, to welcome to the stage this year's special award winner, Nigel Howard. The quirkiness of, um, of cookery can be the reward of cookery. You know, the Craft Guild of Chefs is an, is an amazing organisation and um, helps such a lot of people, so I'm very, very proud um, to be given this award. Yeah.